What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here! And welcome back to some Hello Neighbor 2. Today we are going to be covering the Hunter's House. So if you don't know how to get here, go back to the radio tower which is up there, look at the screens, it will show you a picture of the hunter's house and it's basically right next to all of these signs you're just going to follow the trail of all these signs to get to the hunter's house now be very very careful because if the hunter catches you he will shoot you so you need to be careful of that uh, so we're gonna make our way do not enter through the front door, which is the one right here. It has got a, a doorbell on it. <laughs> so, yeah. As you just saw, <laughs> that was the hunter. So, he's already moving around there. Which is kind of scary. Because I saw that gun pointed at me and I really did not like it. So, if you really want to uh, distract the hunter, you could go to the front door, open it, and then run around to the back. So, you kind of know where the hunter is. So, you can open. You hear the bell. He's now going to be attracted to that bell. So, we know he's going to go there first. And then... We can sneak upstairs, which is where we want to be. And he's just closed the front door. So this is what we are looking for. So always keep an ear out. For the hunter. Just in case. Because I don't think there's actually anywhere to hide here. So we need to be kind of careful. What we are going to need is uh, the scissors first. We're going to walk over to the pillow right here. And we're going to cut it. And we're going to pick up this key right here. Once we got a key, I'm just going to head back out of this door because we really need to get to the basement. So that's kind of somewhat hard to do with the hunter going around. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to use uh, this trick. I'm going to open the door so we know where he is. And we're going to come around to here again because there is another door. So we want to go through this door. And head down to the basement. The hunter is here. Uh, we need to find a place to hide. Which is a cabinet right here. So we need to wait for him to come out of that door. And go into a different door. So we can sneak through that door. And go down to the basement right there. So what we're going to do. We're going to head through this door here. Go down. We want to go under the stairs. But you need to be very careful. Because it isn't really anywhere to hide here uh, apart from under this table right here and like you like you saw he just saw me but he did shoot but I don't think he's actually saw me saw me so we need to wait for that door to open and close there we go we need to switch to our uh, crowbar because we need to break these. Be careful of him coming back down. Then we want to get the key. And we want to un unlock this box. Open it up. Grab that piece of paper right there. We're going to head back under the table just to be safe. He's at the front door. You just heard the bell go off. So also, while you're in the basement mortals, what we're going to do, we're going to get this lever off this bear. So make sure you have this as well. Always keeping an ear open. And now we need to make it back to the, the board with the pieces of paper on so we can put the one we've found in the board. See, sometimes he sees you when he's at that corner while you're under the thing, under the table, but 
uh, you can just e easily navigate around like so, and he'll just walk off. So. We need to go back upstairs, so I'm going to go straight through, like so. Oh, hello. He actually comes outside a bit, so be careful. I didn't realise that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back upstairs. We're going to get our piece of paper right here. And we're going to put it on the cork board. The board with the paper on. So we're going to come over to the board. And we're going to place that there. Like so. Very, very nice. So next we want to do, we actually want to go back into the main house. Make sure we have uh, this lever ready. Because we need to find another bear in the main part of the house right here. There is an easier way into the basement as well. As you can see there, there is a window. So if you want to come round and get to the window instead of going through his house, you can do. So we're just going to place this on the ball right here. Like so. Activate it. Get the piece of the thing. He has just come in the front door, so be very careful. I'm going to hide in this closet right here. We can now take this uh, piece of paper back to the board. So we're going to place this piece of paper on the white one mark right there. And we're going to run out the house. So the next piece of paper that we are going to need more ores is actually stuck in the microwave right there. And that is what we need to activate the boar heads for. So like I said, there's one in the basement. There's one here. There is also another one. So the another one is up here, mortals. As you can see, it's right up there. So in order to do this, we're actually going to have to climb on some stuff. Do a bit of parkour right here to activate this one. So we've activated it. And now we're just going to run out the house. So the next boar head mortals, uh, the, I'm going through the difficult ones first to make it a bit easier for you. So we're going to go in here and it's up here. So we have to use the furniture right here to climb all the way up here. As you can see, it is, it's right there. So we got to do a bit of parkour jumping and such. Uh, to get up here like so and there's another one of the boar heads done so now we just have the one in the basement to do which we can get right here And then the one next to the microwave, which is the easiest one, which we can just activate right here. So once you have activated all the boar heads, you can get the piece of paper from the microwave, I like so. Now, you mortals might have a bit of difficulty doing this because the boar heads are on like a timer. So you have to be reasonably quick so it all depends on what order you're going to do them in. I advise going top, middle, bottom. But um, always start with the top. Sometimes you can't go for the middle just in case the, the hunter is there. If you can't do that, go to the bottom first. Open the window. Uh, do the boar head. Come back out and then come back to the middle. Uh, I'd, if you've done it right, you'll hear it, the ding of the microwave. So that lets you know that you've done it properly and the microwave is open. So now we've got the piece of paper. We're going to put it on the board upstairs. We're going to put it on this marker here. And escape that guy. So the last and final puzzle. We've got to go around searching for letters. 
certain letters. And I'm going to show you what I mean if I can get into this dude's house. We need to go into the bathroom. I'm going to show you what one of the letters looks like. Yep, he's going down there. That's handy for me. Open the door. Go into the bathroom. Open the toilet. So here it is. It's F. We can pick it up. Very, very nice. Then we can go out. So these are the letters we're kind of looking for. It's literally a letter. A single letter. And we've got to find a few of these. So the next one, more ores. We're going to go back into here. Back in this room where the bear is. And we're going to climb on this furniture again. Where the the boar's head was located. And now we are looking for the letter B. Which is this one right here. We can pick this one up. Very, very nice. And we can just keep moving on to the last letter. So we're going to go to the back garden right now. And we're going to head on... Well, we're going to try and head on to the roof. So we're just going to use our parkour skills to get up on here, on here, onto the roof. So we're going to go up and we're going to try and jump on here like a so. Right on the top. And here is the letter that we need. So in order to place these letters, mortals, I would recommend waiting for the hunter to go upstairs first. Upstairs or downstairs, as you can see, there are specific uh, ways you have to place these. So I've actually got to go back to the fridge and pick these up again. So we got F, B, C. Gives us a horn that we need to pick up. So once you have got the deer antler, we're going to head upstairs. And here it is. This is what we are looking for. We're just going to place it there. Very, very nice. Uh, so once we have placed the horns... <laughs> Luckily enough, this is going to open, which gives us the last piece of our map. Once we got the last piece of our map, we are just going to place it down. So once we have placed it down, models, we're going to have to go back on the roof. Because we're going to need to pick up that shovel we saw earlier. So just climb all the way up. We're climbing up like so. Keep climbing. We're going to drop back down the other side. Like so. Pick the shovel up. And then we have to make it down. And once you have got the shovel and made it safely down. You're going to come to here. Where you see this mound of earth. And we're going to dig. Like so. Keep the digging. So. If you don't know what the code is, you should have been paying to the you should be paying attention to the map that we've just built. The colours correspond with the numbers, so the colour of the pin corresponds with the numbers. So what we're gonna enter here is eight zero. This might take a while. Eight zero one six and four and the safe opens and we get our key we get the achievement treasure hunt and complete day three if you don't know what this key for this key is for the second part to the museums as you can see just about there are crows flying in the air over there that is where we need to go this is what this key is used for but mortals, I hope you enjoyed. That was the Hunter's House. I hope that little guide helped you out. And I'll hopefully see you mortals in the next video.